Hi, this is Landy Mule-Rath, and this is the instructional video for exercise number two, inner thigh, squeeze, and tease. In this video, I'll show you all the correct setup and positions. And remember, as always, with all exercise, be sure to work within your own ability level so that you're getting challenged, but you're also playing safe by using correct form. In this exercise, you're going to only need a small playground ball because this is going to give you a little bit of resistance. If you don't have this, you can use a pillow or a piece of foam, but the playground ball is preferable because it gives you a little bit more fight back. For inner thigh squeeze and tease, you're gonna start, as with all exercise, with good correct form. Make sure your feet are right beneath your hips, and remember, beneath your hips means beneath the center of the hip joint, not outside the hips. Next, be sure that your Posture and alignment is correct. That means you're going to have an anchored neutral spine. This means your abdominal wall is in. You'll lift the weight of your rib cage off of your hips. You'll grip your gluteals a little bit and open the chest, anchoring your shoulder blades across the rib cage and back. From here, you're going to take the exercise ball and place it right between your thighs. You'll feel this resistance right away as you have to hold the ball in place. From here, you're going to let your body weight drift down a little bit until the ends of your toes are met by the depth of your knee bend. So they're just like they're butted up against a wall. Before starting the repetitions, recheck all of your alignment. Abdominals are in, gluteals gripped, shoulders back, and rib cage in. The repetitions are going to look like this. Squeeze and hold. Squeeze in and hold, squeeze in and hold. Then you do squeeze and tease, which is squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and hold. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and hold. And then you finish with 20, just squeeze in and squeeze in. Now notice I'm spending more time in the contraction than the release, and that's what you want so you get a better workload that way. This exercise can also be done seated in a chair. For a seated position in Fit Quickie number two, inner thigh squeeze and tease, just push yourself to the edge of the chair, line yourself up so your knees are right over your ankles, chest is open, rib cage with the shoulder blades anchored over them, abdominals in. Again, place that ball between the knees and the repetitions will be the same. Squeeze and hold for 10, followed by squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and hold for 10, and then 20 rapid squeezes. We'll follow this with a stretch. For that, we move to the floor. For the stretch for inner thigh squeeze and tease, you want to be in a straddle position and be sure that you're seated right on your sits bones, chest is up, and shoulders back. If you find it difficult to seat yourself up straight and you find yourself leaning back a little bit, then there are two things you can do. One is to narrow the, the straddle that you have, and another is to use what I call a little elevator and just put it under your tail a little bit, and that will help your body to sit upright. From here, with your, the widest straddle that you can get while keeping correct position, simply keeping the shoulders dropped and down, lift the top of the head toward the ceiling, and then pull the chest forward until you feel a stretch. So you feel it even without moving very far, you will feel that on the inner thighs and the backs of the thighs as well. Common error is to lean over and try to reach forward. You don't need to do that. All you need to do is sit up and press forward, and you'll hold that for 20 to 30 seconds. 